we're at Techno Sets in Rugby. Now, they are part of the Techno Group because you've got another, another establishment. Whereabouts is that? Us in Hastings in Sussex. A lot of turn parts here. Yes, yeah, yeah lots of turn parts So here. you do like your Citizen Machine, Miano and Syncom. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but your your experience is mainly on the fixed head because you worked previously Miano machines. How, how did you find them? Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant machines, brilliant machines. Um, Robust, yeah, repeat well. Everything you expect from a Miano. Everything you want to do, exactly. So, not putting you on the spot though, new to sliding head technology? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Has it been a transition of fire or has it been relatively straightforward? It's not been too bad. Yeah, not too, been too bad at all. Excellent, so yeah. good to hear. We're going to find out about this machine next to us, but your flagship machine and side to side was your M432, yeah. but you've gone, gone and got a new flagship machine. What is it? Yeah, the M532. So, same machine in terms of 32 mil. Yeah. Series yeah. 5, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's it, with LFB technology, which is the uh, winning feature of it, really. So, with the 532, obviously an upgrade from a much sub 432. In the working envelope, what can I expect in terms of tooling? Uh, so, you've got the main gang for your turning tools on the Fiddle 1. Uh, you've got B axes with four extra driven tools compared to the old machine. Um, which is indexable. Uh, you've got the turret, you can work either end, and, and your back tooling for your, for your sub spindle. Right, okay, so one thing, well, a couple of things there. You've got actually got, I mean, I'm thinking slider, I'm thinking gang, B axis, but you've got a turret in there as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, and then the B axis, fully simultaneous? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So is there any limits on components you can make now? Not really, no. So when we've got a uh, new CAD software landing, that will really kind of yep. open doors for us to get some more complicated stuff on there, yeah. In the background, control panel, HMI, human machine interface, Mitsubishi control, how have you found the whole process? Yeah, really good. I've not used Mitsubishi before, so obviously sliders are new, Mitsubishi, that's another new thing for me oh, as it's well. It's a baptism of fire for Yeah, you. yeah, no, that's fine. And uh, touch screen, which is nice to use. Um, yeah, it's user friendly. I've gotten to grips with it quite quickly, really. Oh, so nice and easy to use, okay. Now, you have got a problem with this machine now, I understand. What, what is it? Yeah, you end up running out of bar quite quickly. Right, so not a bad problem to have. Not a bad problem to have, no. You put as much bar as you can on the bar feeder. Yeah. Uh, because of the LFE technology, it's running lights out, and if there's no one here in the middle of the night to stock it up, you do right. end up running out, yeah. Okay, because looking around the machine shop, yeah, a lot of turn parts, fixed head, sliding head. You can't generally run though the 24-7 because you haven't got that technology. So are you bringing components from other machines to this machine because of that? Yeah, yeah, just like the uh, old M32, the 4 Series, um, which, like I said, was our old flagship. We're re-engineering the jobs, putting them on there. Yeah. Um, again, the LFE is just, just allowing us to keep on going. There's no swath build-up nice and all sorts of weather. Yeah. What sort of materials are you cutting on this machine? Well, mainly we've been using aluminium. So a uh, nice stringy material. Yeah, a nice stringy material. Um, and if you can't get, you know, if you can't get it to chip if the feed rates, you can't get it high enough on the slider, then LFE just takes yeah. care of that. I'm assuming the same then with plastics as well. Yes, plastics will work as well. We haven't done that yet, but it will do. We've uh, done some coals of row. That worked nicely. Adam, again, relatively new to sliding head technology. I'm getting the vibe that you really enjoy it, but using the LFE and the Mitsubishi controls, how easy is it? It's really easy. It's just uh, it's just G-code. Put G-code in. You tell it kind of the movement that you want. Uh, and then turn it off so after, after it's done. Yeah, after it's done the Z movement or wherever you want it to. Okay. Now, go. in terms of sales and sport, the guys at Citizen have they been good? Yeah, they've been excellent. Yeah, we've uh, had three days training with them afterwards, which went really well. Yeah. Uh, and then we had one issue with uh, with the swarm conveyor, and they sent some out next day. So. So nice and easy, keeping, yeah, that, nice and easy. keeping the doors closed, spindles turning. Yeah, that's it. One final thing, I suppose, then is, am I going to get better cycle times with this machine? I wouldn't say necessarily because, so <laughs> yeah, so no. Um, again, if you're trying to get it to chip without LFB, you have to up the feed rate quite a lot. LFB is limited to 0 0.04, 0 0.05 mm. feed, but then obviously you're getting the unmanned, which more than makes up for it. So there you have it, the new flagship machine at Technoset. It's the M532 LFB technology, enabling you to run 24-7. That's right, yeah.